So, you have an animated movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's called Hotel Transylvania, and it's about Dracula running a hotel for monsters. What? He's got a hotel, and monsters come from all over to kind of get away from the human world. So this is a business that he owns? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So monsters have money? That's right, they give tips, and they talk about how much money they spent on travel. How and why do monsters have money? I don't know. How do they even advertise the hotel to the monsters? I don't know. And why are they hiding from humans? Well, humans were mean to them in, like, the 1800s and they don't realize that we're nice now. Not one of the monsters has encountered a human since the 1800s. That's what we're going with. I gotta say, this concept kind of falls apart if you think about it for more than a second. Well, I think it's a pretty amusing concept if you just shut your brain off. Oh, shutting your brain off is tight. Consider it done. Awesome. So anyway, Dracula wants to keep his daughter Mavis inside the hotel so she doesn't interact with humans. Sir? Sir, did you actually shut your brain off? Well, okay, I didn't know that was actually possible. Uh, money. Where is the money? Welcome back, sir. Hey, I know you. You're that guy who always says that thing to me. What thing is that? It's like very simple, not very inconvenient. Oh, actually, it's super easy. Barely an inconvenience. What is? Never mind. So anyway, yeah, Dracula wants to protect his daughter Mavis from humans. But then a human named Jonathan wanders into his hotel. And he's the first human to ever set foot in there since 1898. So Dracula kills him? No, he's like, if I kill this guy, I'm gonna set monsters back hundreds of years. Oh, what does that even mean? I guess that monsters don't kill humans anymore, you know? Okay. So then Dracula's like, man, we gotta dress you up in a disguise or these monsters are gonna kill you. But you just said monsters don't kill people anymore. Whoops. Whoopsie. Anyway, so since Frankenstein is there, they dress up Jonathan like him. And then they're like, oh, he's a long lost cousin in the Stein family. Ah, uh, there's so much wrong with that sentence. What do you mean? Well, Frankenstein is the name of the guy who made the monster and his last name isn't Stein because what are you talking about? Oh, see what happened is I didn't know research. I didn't even open Wikipedia. Wow. But Frankenstein's real funny. He freaks out whenever he sees fire. Oh, so is the hotel lit with electrical lights? No, a bunch of torches. Oh, you're contradicting your own ideas so much. Yeah, I'm all over the place. Wow. Anyway, so the bad guy in the movie is Quasimodo, and he wants to kill Jonathan and cook him. But you said no human has ever stepped in there since 1898. Yeah, that's right. Well, Quasimodo is just a deformed human. He's still human. Oh. In fact, the whole point of his story is that Quasimodo is not a monster. What a hilarious mistake. Yeah, you should probably fix that. Oh, I'd much rather not, though. Fair enough. Anyway, so eventually Dracula's gonna use his mind control powers to try and get Jonathan to leave. Dracula has mind control powers? Why didn't he try that right away? Because that works. But because Jonathan's wearing contact lenses, the mind control doesn't work right away. Oh, so it has to be direct eye contact? Yeah, there can't be anything between his eyes and the victim's eyes. Interesting. Unless it's a plain window, that's totally fine. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what else happens? A whole lot of poop jokes. Oh yeah. PP2. Wow. And farts. I've got some fart jokes in there. Very clever. Also about half the runtime is going to be Jonathan walking around reacting to monster stuff like, whoa. That is how a human would react if he saw monster stuff. Yeah, so it's relatable. Well done. And then at the end, Dracula is going to calm down and let Jonathan date his daughter. So are they going to turn him into a vampire too? No, but he's 21, so they have a good 50, 60 years together. How old is Mavis? 118. So by the time he dies, their relationship will have only lasted a small fraction of her life and she'll just keep living on and on until he fades from her memory? Well, that's a super depressing way to look at it, but yeah. Yeah, maybe throw in a little song and dance number at the end so people don't think about it too much. Already in there, sir. Amazing. And I was thinking we can make a bunch of these movies. I already have ideas for two and three. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Why not? Well, I mean, the movie contradicts itself left and right so people might not be too into it. Maybe we'll get lucky and people will look past all that. Yeah, I mean, if people end up not caring about logic and quality, we can make a bunch of these. Fingers crossed. Hey guys, Ryan here. Hope you enjoy that pitch meeting. There are over 50 pitch meetings on the channel that you could check out. Kind of a long binge, but if you like this video, you'll probably like those. We also have a new series on Screen Rant called Theory Battle. In that, we go head to head with two different film theories and you guys decide which one's the most plausible. It's pretty fun. You should definitely check it out. And let me know in the comments section what other movies I should make pitches for. Feel free to share this video on Twitter and Facebook. That helps us out a lot. And check back soon for a new one. Bye bye